Hi friends, Merry Christmas. I hope you all are having a great time. Today I am starting a new series called Practical Machine Learning and Deep Learning. If you are a data science enthusiast, you might already know many places online where you can learn the basics, how machine learning or deep learning works internally. But how to make it practical? How will you get the confidence that you can solve any machine learning problem? Well, I know all of you can reach that excellence one day or the other, but I will help you make it faster. Today I am going to talk about Jupyter Notebook and its keyboard shortcuts. How to get Jupyter Notebook? That's very simple. Go install Anaconda. There are many resources online which you can use. Okay, why using keyboard shortcuts when you have intuitive mouse option? Because using mouse is a waste of time. Imagine you are using mouse every minute and it takes one second to move your hand to the mouse and back again to the keyboard. Your total work time in a day is 8 hours. Now let's see the math. The number of minutes in 8 hours is 8 into 60 that is 480. We are using mouse every second so it would be 480 seconds that is 8 minutes. So we are wasting 8 minutes a day. That's very little right? But how about a week? Or a month? Or a year? It would be 7 into 8, 56 minutes, approximately an hour. In a month, we are using 4 hours. In a year, we are using 49 hours just to move our hands from mouse to keyboard and keyboard to mouse. We can achieve great things in 48 hours. And this data is the best case scenario. What if you are taking more than one second? Do your calculation and decide yourself. Okay. Now if you are convinced, let's talk about Jupyter Notebook's keyboard shortcuts. So there are two modes in Jupyter Notebook. One is command mode. So currently I am in edit mode because the cursor is blinking here if you see, the cursor is blinking. Now if you go back to command mode, how do you go back to command mode? You have to use ESC. So when you go to command mode, first thing you observe is the blue thing, blue shade of the cell here. When you were in edit mode, so you can go to edit mode back again by pressing enter and it became green. So the this is the cell and you can uh, go back and forth between command and edit mode by pressing escape to go to command mode and enter to come back to edit mode. There are two cell types. One is markdown and other is the code. So the cell type is code here because if you see here you have a square bracket around here. So when you type something like import numpy as np it gets executed and you see a number here. So this implies that this code has been executed and numpy has been imported. Now to change your cell type to markdown you have to press escape go to command mode and then press M. Now the cell type has changed to markdown and you don't see any uh, this this thing in markdown mode. So how do you go back to edit mode? You have to just press enter and now you can write anything you want. So that's it. Now if you want to move around the cell you can press escape again and then press up or down arrow or you can use J and K keys. So you can move around the cells using J and K or up or down arrow. To execute a cell, you just have to press shift and enter. So the cell gets executed. If it's markdown, it will execute and it, uh, it will render the markdown. Or if it is a, a code block or code cell, then you just have to press shift enter and it will get executed. So let's try running. First, let's change this to uh, command or code, code cell. So to change it to code cell, you have to press escape and Y. Now let's press enter and type 1 plus 2 and then we can press shift and enter. So shift enter 
and it got ex executed okay now um, that's one thing you need not remember all the keyboard shortcuts at once to learn about all the keyboard shortcut there is another keyboard shortcut which you must remember and it's very simple is just you have to press escape and then P so here it will list down all the keyboard shortcuts so if you see here you have how you can restart your kernel and how can you clear the outputs how you can do other stuff so all of the keyboard shortcuts are mentioned here so if you forget something you just have to press escape and P and then if you want to go back again to your Jupyter notebook you just have to press escape again and you are back in command mode to go back to edit mode you have to press enter delete delete a cell you just have to press double D okay so two times D again uh, to insert a cell above the current cell you have to press A and a cell got inserted so to make sure that you are seeing the thing in action let's write something here okay so we can do a is equal to 5 okay b is equal to 10 a into b what oh sorry okay now let's try inserting a cell above this so if I say a you see the cell got inserted above the 12th number cell okay now if you want to insert a cell below this you have to write B all in command mode that is escape and B if you want to restart the kernel then you just have to press two times zero zero it will restart the kernel if you press enter here I don't want to restart the kernel so I'm doing an escape now let's write a while loop here while true and so this cell is running infinitely okay if you want to run run some other command say print this is Jupyter notebook you won't be able to execute it you see a star here it means that this command uh, this cell will get executed only after the previous cell which is getting executed completes so you want to interrupt that how do you interrupt this one option is you can just press the stop button here but the other option can be you can press double I and it got interrupted now uh, the kernel got interrupted and you can execute this okay good let's say you want to jump to the first cell of this notebook you can use control and up and control and down to come back again to the last cell or you can also use control home and control end so these are few keyboard shortcuts that every data science learner or expert must know i hope you like my video to see more please like and subscribe Bye-bye.